Hello everyone and welcome. This is Past Perfect's presentation on tips and tricks to get ready for your FINRA exam during this extended study process now that we have been delayed during this Corona-19 virus pandemic. You've got information on your webpage, training at pastperfect.com to send us emails and also an 800 number, 800-777-7462 for tech support and then a tech support email. Again, the training is for content questions the tech support and tech support email are for login, getting into the website sort of questions. So my name is Dr. Ernie Varela. I'm one of our instructors at PassPerfect. And again, we just want to give you some tips and tricks to get through this process as you're getting ready through, again, the delay for getting ready for a test. First of all, a lot of this is attitude. Everything right now is literally up in the air. When we're going back to work, when we be going back to school, everything. So one of those things that is up in the air is obviously when you're taking your test. If your attitude is, this is gonna worry you, that's gonna be a thing. But take this as extra time. You have bonus time to get ready for the exam. So use this to your advantage. The test questions won't change, the passing percentage won't change, but you now have extra time to get ready for your test. Use that leverage that to your goal of passing the exam. One of the things we would suggest is don't overstudy right now. Don't take all your final exams at this point. Use these next couple of weeks to shore up whatever areas you still are challenged with. Use the quizzes, the mastery tests to figure out what areas you still need help with. And if you need additional help, you can always get a hold of us either by email or by our 800 number, which I'll get into in a moment. But again, now is the time you want to pace yourself. Be methodical at this point with how you're studying. This is also a time where you want to take advantage of all the past perfect resources that frankly you may not have seen before. Because if you're in a hurry, you may not have seen all of them. Things like our flashcards, our online glossary, the summary tables and charts which may help you remember certain key concepts. The on-demand and chapter videos and the listen feature. Now is the time to explore everything in our smart features, in our online package, take advantage of them. Because frankly, if you master them now for whatever exam you've got coming up next, it may well, in fact, it probably will come in handy for whatever exam you have coming up after that. Whenever the exams turn on, the next exam. If you're taking the seven, the 65, 66, the 6, the 63, 65, 66, whatever the case may be. Ultimately, we all know that there are a ton of distractions right now, okay? Like literally everything in our personal, professional, family lives are kind of up in the air. One thing you can control is how you get ready for your FINRA exam. So to the extent that it is possible, create safe, quiet space to do your studying. Create a routine, okay? You wanna do whatever you can to get as ready as you can for when the lights turn on, for when FINRA says, yes, we're ready to test again, whether it's April, May, or whenever. Again, we don't have any idea, nobody does. We're all expecting things to be based on national and public health advice, so take this time, take it to your advantage, but focus. Everything else, your, your hunt for toilet paper and your Perel, that's one side. Your FINRA prep, that's something else. So control your FINRA prep. Take the time to use that to your advantage because you have the time to do so. Now, for the next couple of weeks, everybody, um, there's a few things that we definitely suggest you do. Take maybe one final exam, if you haven't already done so, to pinpoint the two or three areas that are of challenge. Take those areas, make sure you get those down. You've got the time to do so. The quizzes, read the chapter again, whatever it takes to get those areas of challenge down, now is the time to do so. Uh, again, take the quick test, the videos, the glossaries, whatever it takes to get those taken care of. If you need to reach out to us, please do so. All right, you've got the training at passperfect.com um, email to send us. You can call us on the 800 number. We're, we're here to help you. One of the other things we strongly suggest you do, now that you have a little bit more time, is as much as our flashcards are awesome, create your own flashcards. 
while you're out there shopping for toilet paper and paper towels and Purell, like I just came back from, grab some flashcards, some plain white or some lined white flashcards. If you're a Dollar Tree or a CVS or a Walgreens, grab some colored highlighters and then create your own simple flashcards. Write them down yourself because if you write them down, you're more apt to remember them for whatever concepts are still sticking. You can even color code them. Green for US government bonds, yellow for municipal bonds, red for corporate bonds, blue for stocks, whatever it takes. Okay, don't get different color flashcards. Get plain white flashcards or flashcards with paper with uh, lines on them. Again, they're not that expensive. They're gonna be at whatever you're going in to shop for, Purell, Lysol, whatever, and then maybe some colored highlighters to, to color code what concepts you're looking at on the flashcards. Okay, but if you literally don't type them out and paste them, write them down. Writing them down increases retention, orders of magnitude. When we get to that happy day, a few weeks from now, when your exam is scheduled, that's when you wanna ramp up your studies. Go from more reading and studying to more final exams. Okay, now you still wanna take the final exams methodically. Again, these are diagnostic tools. Take a look at the questions you're not getting right. Build up good test taking habits now. Like for example, don't second guess yourself. Don't change your answers. If you see, a, if you got an ABCD question and you've eliminated one or two possible responses, you've narrowed it down and you've made your choice, you pull the trigger, leave it alone. Do not change your answers. That is fatal on the FINRA exams. Use scratch paper when you take the final exams, even when you're doing them at home. Get into that habit because you're gonna use scratch paper on your final. Maybe get into the habit of doing a quick data dump, things that aren't familiar, things that are unusual, maybe even the bond seesaws or bullish and bearish option strategies, whatever it may be, get into the habit of using that now. Get into these good test taking habits now. That way you'll be more likely to carry them into your FINRA exam whenever it happens, sometime late April, early May, whenever the case may be. Ultimately, okay, the whole idea of this is to get ready for game day. Okay, so remember, expect the unexpected. You're gonna get um, you're gonna get experimental questions that you may not expect. That's fine. Look, if you get a question that looks like it's the chemical recipe for your Purell, pick your favorite letter of the day and move on. Mark it for review. But you cannot waste 10 minutes on a question. If you've looked at a question three or four times and you still can't, you literally it looks like Greek. Move on. Pick your favorite letter. The goal here is not to get a 99. The goal here is to pass. Okay, so you, what you want to do is translate the test taking habits you've brought in from taking as many final exams at, when you get your actual test date to the actual test date. Um, on the FINRA exams, again, we don't have the luxury of playing Hamlet and getting stuck on a question for 10 minutes. Because if you do that, you may have to rush at questions at the end. It's not worth it. One question is not worth five. That is just not good math. Okay, so if you've read a question three or four times, and it still looks like it's, again, Sanskrit, pick your favorite letter, move on. Um, Prometric.com has some great information on their FAQ page for what you need to bring, how you need to you know, sort of access whatever testing center you've got. Our recommendation, when you get that testing date, and again, that testing date may change, ladies and gentlemen, because things are fluid right now. Things are fluid everywhere in the world. Plan it out. Use Google Maps, whatever you need to do, get there about a half an hour ahead of time, just in case. Because again, you just never know. So we are with you. We are with you all the way to your test date. Again, your success is our success. So if you need our help, get a hold of us. Send us an email, training at passperfect.com. Okay, we're happy to answer any of the questions you have. If you're having issues logging in, use the tech support or the tech support email. That's for login or, or access issues. But again, don't panic, we're here. You're gonna be fine. Use this as a gift. Okay, I know it's hard to think of it because it's so uncertain, but you've got extra time. Use it to your advantage. Now, we're gonna be doing um, other seminars, other webinars based on individual exams. This is the general one, but if you need us, we're gonna be here. So good luck, stay safe, stay healthy, be well.